pH diagram for steam along the x axis we represent entropy along the y axis we represent temperature and this one is vapor dome the topmost point is known as critical point from the critical point the left side line is known as saturated liquid line and from the critical point the right side line is known as saturated vapor line what is saturated liquid line now if the working substance is present on the saturated liquid line then the working substance is 100% liquid if the working substance is present on the saturated vapor line then this is 100% vapor now this line indicates constant pressure line Similarly, if you draw, then this line is also a constant pressure line. So, on the TS diagram, this type of line is known as constant pressure line. The area from the left side of the saturated liquid line is known as subcooled region. The area between saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line is known as wet region. And the right hand side area from the saturated vapor line is known as superheated region. If you see here we mention point A, point B, point C, point D and point E. A point is situated on the saturated liquid line. That means if the working substance is present at point A this is 100% liquid. Now this point B and point C along on the weight region. If the working substance is present at point B then we call this one is weight steam. Similarly, if the working substance is at point C, this is also weight steam. If the working substance is present at point D, then we call dry saturated steam. If the working substance is at point E, then we call this is superheated steam. Steam are three types. One is weight steam. Second one is a dry saturated steam. And third one is superheated steam. First we know what is weight steam. Weight steam means some mass is liquid form and some mass is vapor form. Total mass, out of total mass, some part is liquid and some part is vapor. Then we call the steam is weight steam. If the total mass is converted into vapor, then we call dry saturated steam. Then if you again heated the dry saturated steam, then it is called superheated steam. The, in this diagram, B and C point, these all are weight steam. If the steam is at point D, then we call dry saturated steam. If the steam is at point E, then we call it is superheated steam. The steam which obeys all the gaseous law, then this is superheated steam. When the steam obeys all the gaseous law, we can call the steam is superheated steam. Now, we go to the critical point. Critical point is that point where the liquid is directly converted into gaseous phase. And all of you know the critical pressure for water is 220.09 bar and the critical temperature for water is 374.136 degree centigrade. Now if the water having pressure 220.09 bar and the temperature 374.136 degree centigrade if we maintain then this water is directly converted into superheated steam. But uh, the basic concept is first the saturated water is converted into wet, then dry saturated, then superheated. But if the maintain critical pressure and critical temperature, for that case the liquid is directly converted into superheated vapor. Superheated vapor means it obeys all the gaseous law. Now, if the working substance is at point A, if you calculate the enthalpy value, at point A the enthalpy value we called HF. HF means enthalpy of liquid. The amount of heat added to convert saturated water to saturated vapor that is from point A to point D, this is called enthalpy of evaporation or vaporization. We call this one is HFG. At point D, the enthalpy is called HG. So now you have three types of enthalpy. One is HF, one is HG and another is HFG. HF means enthalpy of liquid. 
एच एफ जि मीन्स एंथालपी अफ एभापोरेसन और भेपोरजेसन एंड एच जि मीन्स एंथालपी अफ ड्राई सैचुरेटेड स्टीम इफ यू आड एच एफ जि ओथ एच एफ देन इट इज कनवर्टेड इन टू एच जि तो दिस इज ओभरअल अबाउट द टी एच डायग्राम अफ स्टीम थैंक यू